Susie and Jeff, the suspect was going this way on the wrong side of the road. And at the same time, the victim was making a legal left-hand turn right there. The two cars collided before the suspect bailed into this mobile home park tonight. We are learning how he was captured and how that victim is doing. This is video posted to Twitter by journalist Austin Dave. It shows the pursuit suspect driving on the wrong side of the road before blindsiding an innocent bystander in a violent crash. LA County Sheriff's deputies chased the suspect into a mobile home park after he bailed from his car. From our chopper, we could see the innocent man from the silver sedan placed on a gurney before an ambulance took him to the hospital. Curtis Young is the victim's father. He doesn't know what happened. What happened next was witnessed by neighbors who say the suspect hid in this shed, but the dogs from the sheriff's department pictured here were able to track his scent. Tim Voltal says he heard deputies trying to negotiate a surrender for nearly half an hour. He said, you're going to shoot me, you're going to shoot me, and they were saying, we're not going to shoot you, we're not going to shoot you. You can see residue on the side of the shed. That's because deputies say they used a flashbang. Yeah, it was a pretty loud sound, and then right after that, I heard one of the dogs bark. Deputies say the suspect surrendered without them having to sick their dogs. They were real, actually compassionate with the young man once they put him in the stretcher and in the gurney and treated him and then transported him. As for the innocent bystander, he was hit when he was driving home from work. His father says he's waiting for hospital test results, but he's in good spirits. But his back was bothered and his chest was bothering him and he was having a hard time breathing. The chase began after deputies noticed the suspect's car at a parking ride nearby, so they ran his plate and learned that it had been stolen during uh, a carjacking earlier in the day, so they tried to pull him over, but they say he ran until he crashed right here. Tonight, we are reporting live in Santa Clarita. Jeff Nguyen, KCAL 9 News.